That's right. Ryan, can you yeah. come out here yeah. to express our love and to express also solidarity with not only Ferguson. This shit happens in New York City all the time. Right. But from the run, this shit happens 24 fucking 7. And we're tired. So we aren't going to take it no more. There ain't going to be no more death. Because we, if they fucking shoot, what are we going to do? Shoot back! So how y'all feeling out there? You feeling fine? Yeah. I don't know. That, that, that sounded kind of weak to me. I know. I, I need y'all to be stronger if we're gonna take the streets. You know what I'm saying? Do I hear New York City? Do I hear New York City? All right, all right. I'm gonna check in in a minute, but I'm gonna pass the mic to somebody else now. From Staten Island to Ferguson. My name's Justin, I'm from Staten Island. I've been standing with the neighbors in Ferguson. There's a community of people just like us in Ferguson mobilizing the same tools we do right now. If you go online, look for the hashtag Operation Help or Hush. It's done by a bunch of great, powerful black women inside Ferguson. Right now, we're seeing a lot of great leaders and a lot of questionable ones taking the message to the world, like our friend Brother Al. But unfortunately, as Brother Al brings this message to the higher levels, Staten Island's been left behind. You'll notice there's been a battle about where the march is going to be. Reverend Sharpton never asked Staten Island, never asked the Gardner family where they wanted to march. So, thankfully, after this community stood up on social media, Reverend Al conceded to the community's wishes. So this Saturday, we march from the site where, where NYPD murdered Eric Gardner, and we will march to the 120th Precinct to bring our voices to Staten Island. From Staten Island to Ferguson, we must stand together. Keep this going. 